news that moves. ENCA.com. So back to the tragedy that has befallen Paris. If you don't know, three gunmen stormed the office of a Parisian satirical newspaper, Chal Habdu, and murdered 12 people. Now, why would anyone do such a thing? The alleged reason was a retaliation for blasphemy. Charlie Hebdo, the French satirical newspaper, published cartoons mocking the Prophet Muhammad, a big no-no according to Islamic faith. Now, obviously, this attack has nothing to do with Islam and, and, and Muslims in general because it was just the work of a bunch of touchy fanatics. Fanatics are crazy. Like, you've seen these people. They eat grass, drink petrol, in the name of Jesus. I've turned it into pineapple juice. On late night news, we poke fun at a lot of people, especially Limpopo, hmm? especially. And Limpopo people, we wouldn't like you guys uh, there in Limpopo to send togoloshes to strike us with lightning and make our penises small for no reason. Please don't do that. Hmm? We respect every power that you have, and whatever weather you would like to give us as we can, we will accept. Textbook delivery for who? For what? Ah, what those kids, Limpopo, forget about those children, man. Before last week, Charlie Hebdo had gotten themselves into a lot of trouble many times. There's been, they've been forced to close their doors, change their name. They've even had to fire employees over accusations of racism. Their slogan says it all, dumb and nasty. The fact that they have spent the last 35 odd years championing social issues is both impressive and inspiring. But it doesn't exempt them from dodgy behavior. We, that doesn't mean we can't question them. For instance, Bill Cosby tore down stereotypes of black people by espousing family values. But that does not excuse his alleged heinous extracurricular activity. Right? We still have to question that. Right? Now, I'm talking about their vilifying of the Muslim people, an already stigmatized minority in France. Satire, right, South Africa? is about speaking truth to power and not demonizing a mere 7% of the population who are already treated like second-class citizens. Of course, it must be noted that they also vilified other groups. They were also under fire for anti-Semitism and for portraying a black minister as a monkey. Now, with all that considered, there's absolutely no reason to shoot anyone for expressing an opinion, no matter how unfunny or bigoted you find it, right? If shooting people was an acceptable response to being offended, then the world would have no Leon Schuster movies. Now, look, look, look. My president, my president, my president. Mshalos, cartoonists have been messing with Mshalosi for years. Did he ever do a drive-by at Zapiro's house? No. Did he ever ask Bladen Zimande to throw an empty wine bottle at a newspaper office? No. He took them to court. Hmm? Because he was trying to make money, of course, for more renovations, more renovations. Now, that's the thing with fundamentalists, huh? You guys need a good legal team. We'll send you better rules. Someone to help you guys. Stop killing people whose views you don't agree with. That is America's job. Now, guys. When push comes to shove, you don't actually have to pick up a machine gun. You can sing about one. Simple. The bottom line is that being offended doesn't justify murder. Personally, in terms of satire, I think that Charlie Hebdo was at the bottom of the barrel. Hmm? They were repeatedly offensive, but they had every right to be offensive without losing their right to life. But now that publications, movie stars, soccer players around the world are calling themselves child, I mean, come on. As LNN, I would like to say we believe in the world, in a world where everyone has a right to freedom of speech. That's what we believe in. But are we Charlie? No, we're not Charlie. LNN, we are not Charlie. News that moves. ENCA.com.